This is Debbie Williams with News 5 here on Facebook Live showing you one of the roadblocks of uh, a major traffic crash that happened here earlier this morning. We are at U.S. Highway 98 at County Road 95. If you're traveling U.S. Highway 98 between Alberta and Lillian, this is what you're going to find. Traffic is being diverted onto County Road 95. If you're headed west, if you're headed east on 98, it's being diverted at Bremen Road. And the reason for that diversion, around 9 o'clock or just before 9 o'clock this morning, a head-on collision near Happy Acres Mobile Home Park. That's just uh, east of Bremen Road here on U.S. Highway 98. And uh, two people seriously injured and airlifted to hospitals in that crash. While they were tending to those folks, a multi-vehicle crash happened behind that vehicle. People stacked up from that wreck, uh, rear end collision. Several more people taken to the hospital from that crash. Now we are on US Highway 98, right at County Road 95. You can't see the crash site from here. State troopers are investigating and they have um, blocked off the traffic about half a mile from the crash site on either side. Traffic um, has been pretty steady through this intersection as well as the other. It is a, a not that bad of a detour around the crash site, but at this point we don't know how much longer U.S. Highway 98, which of course is a major thoroughfare running east and west through Baldwin County and other parts of this of the, the, the state, but um, we don't know at this point how long it will be shut down. As far as details on the crash uh, and the subsequent uh, multi-vehicle rear-end collision, we're still waiting to hear from state troopers who are still on site. We did see some wreckers earlier that were um, moving into that area to remove some of those vehicles. And I would love to answer some of your questions here, but I'm having a hard time seeing it with the sun. But we are on the scene and we will have the latest. I don't know if you can see way up there. You can see the sun blue lights. That's the state trooper's vehicle. And that's about how far it is. Let me walk. Let me get through this ditch here. Let me get behind this this fire truck and show you that's probably a lot more quieter too you can see the red lights emergency vehicles up that way it's about a half mile up there initially two vehicles with a head-on collision and here comes a state trooper now so hopefully we're going to get this um, this thing cleared pretty quickly See what he has to say. Let's see what he has to say. I think we're about to. So, state troopers are clearing the scene. Volunteer firefighters are moving out of the intersection and. Um, U.S. Highway 98 will be reopened. We'll have a live report coming up here on News 5 at noon of what we know at this point. So a couple of hours of, I, of uh, U.S. Highway 98 shut down and now uh, reopening here after this, uh, a couple of different wrecks. Two, at least one of them very serious. Alberta Fire Department, Perdido Beach Volunteer Fire Department heading out. U.S. Highway 98 now open again after a couple of wrecks this morning. One of those wrecks, serious, what we're 
initial the injuries, two people, the drivers of those two vehicles airlifted from the scene. A subsequent um, multi-vehicle rear end collision after that initial crash and those uh, several folks have taken to the hospital. Uh, their injuries not as serious from what we're being told. We'll have the latest coming up from Alberta coming up on News 5 at noon. Traffic is back open on US Highway 98.